how long have you played golf for? Uh, played golf seriously for about four or five years. Handicap is 21. Just show me your address position. Yeah, so, something like this. And now, could you show me your impact position, the position that you want to be in when you hit the ball? Something like, something like that. What we're looking at here is me with a wedge, an eight iron and a driver. What do you notice about it? The weight looks pretty uh, backward. The hand position tends to be quite central in the stance. What's happened here is that the, the, the club has overtaken an extension of the lead forearm. 93% of golfers yeah. reach a position like that at impact. Is okay? that right? Yeah. Where, where, where the shaft of the golf club has overtaken an extension of the lead arm. So exactly what you were saying earlier, they kind of feel like they're flipping at the ball. Well, interestingly, I mean, I had a number of lessons um, before this recent uh, amount of lessons. And, yeah. and no, no pro has ever said to me about impact position. I've not even heard the word impact position. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures there, right? So these are the pros. Those, those, are, those are the best golfers in the entire world. Yep. Yeah. Right? And what do you notice about them? Well, their, their hand position is, is much further forward uh, in their stance. Yeah. And um, the shaft hasn't overtaken the, um, the, the, lead lead, forearm. the lead forearm, yeah. They're all doing that. The amateurs are all doing the opposite. Yeah. Right? So what, the, the secret has essentially got to be in the, in the fact that they're reaching something called a lag impact position. Yeah. And the amateurs are all reaching a flip impact position. Reaching a lag impact improves your accuracy by 43%. Yep. Ro improves your distance control, so the grouping of your shots uh, from f shortest to the furthest, it improves that by 50%. Remarkable. And yeah. it hits your ball six yards further with the same swing speed. Yeah. Then would that be something that would be interesting for you to work on? Absolutely, yeah, because um, one thing I've noticed is, is my ball doesn't go as far as it should go. Right. I could only hit driver sort of 240, 230, yeah. 240 and seven iron sort of 150. Yeah. But someone of my age, they should be hitting it a bit further than that. When golfers uh, try and hit the ball further, they yeah. try and swing the club faster. Yeah. Right? And that invariably means all rhythm and tempo goes out of the equation. I think I'm very guilty of a fast swing. I've got quite a fast swing. Right. Yeah. So, so if you try and swing the club faster, invariably most people try and start the swing. At the from the top of the backswing, they try and swing down faster. Yeah. But if your weight isn't in the right position when you start to swing down, all of your weight stays on your back foot and then you flip more and more and more. So the faster you swing, the more you flip, yeah. unless you're doing the right things. The main purpose of the swing, which I asked you about earlier, yeah. is to generate power, you were right. But yeah. the most important thing is to make sure that you're in control of the golf club when you hit the ball. Yeah. Because if you're not in control of the golf club, you, you're going to hit one into the long grass on the right, one into the long grass on the left, and come away fairly frustrated with, with your game. Yeah, absolutely, that sounds very familiar. This is the point of rotation on the club. Yeah. Our left hand goes above it, our right hand goes below it, and that is a, the point around which the club is rotating. Yeah. Okay, so if I, if I reach full extension there, where the shaft is aligned with my lead forearm, I have club stall after that moment, and I, I'm forced to release the club, and then the, 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 the handle, the butt end of the handle, is working itself away from the pad of my lead hand. Yeah. Okay, so I'm only controlling the club with my bottom hand. That's the fault that 93% of golfers have. And yeah. the, the image you saw of the best golfers was clearly they're reaching an impact position like that, where yeah. the, the handle is ahead and the, the, the club shaft hasn't caught up with the lead forearm. Yeah. So what I'm gonna show you now is a golf club which has got the impact line on. Yes. Which you may not have seen before. No, I've not seen that. Grip it as if you're going to hit the ball. Okay. Now, I want you to push, put it right up against the ball. That's it there. Okay. Now, I want you to show me your impact position again. All right, good. And I want that line to point up to your eyes. Yeah, that, that's good. That's, uh, so there's my address position. Yeah. Something like that. And there's my impact position. Yeah. Does that make sense? So my hips are... They come around, your chest has come around a bit. Yeah. So this is, this is, well, this is really key. If you can understand exactly the impact position that we're wanting you to get to. Um, I mean, when you were learning golf, you, would you, did no. you know that you needed to be in that position? 
<laughs> no, learning golf, I think you, you, you think you need to generate loft. Getting th no one's ever told me that that, that, that position is, is, is something I should be aiming for. And yeah, now, the first time I've done it, it does feel, feel funny. The, yeah, the, the body isn't used to making those, those movements, uh, ha having the club in that position. Um, so yeah, I, I find it, it feels, feels different. It's my belief that the most important fundamental in golf during the swing, not the bit that's stationary, is reaching a lag impact because yeah. then it means you're in control of the club. I'm going to give you some drills and we're going to be working with the impact line. Yeah. Okay. To help you, remind you before every swing you take that that's the handle position and body location that you're trying to achieve when you hit the ball. The impact line will help you do two things. It'll help you with the forward handle position. Yeah. It'll make sure that your club face is square rather than fanned open to the target. Yeah. And then if you focus on those things alone, your golf will improve very, very quickly. Excellent. Sounds and, good. And also you'll hit the ball further with no extra swing speed because you're essentially de-lofting a, 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 well, you've got a wedge there, but you're, you're turning a, yeah. a wedge loft into an A-time. So without yeah. trying to hit the ball further, you'll hit it six yards further. Did the feeling of being in that position surprise you? Yeah, absolutely. No one's ever mentioned to me that that should be the position we should be striving for. I had no idea that that's, that's what, what I should be looking at and what I should be aiming to achieve during a golf swing. Just then you mentioned having lessons with a pro. Did he actually put you into the impact position? No, no, we didn't talk about impact position. I've right. had six lessons. I don't think that word has come up at all. But yeah, this is, this is brand new. I mean, I, 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 no one's said to me that ever before. Do you think by having the impact line on future sets of clubs would make it easier for you to develop a movement pattern that delivers a lag impact handle position. Yeah, it seems uh, like a complete no-brainer. If I, if I didn't have this training aid club and I was to go to the range and try and practice this, I wouldn't have any idea if I was in the right position or not. I suppose it's something that requires constant um, reinforcement, that, 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 that lag impact position, so, and it's not really affecting the club at all. So yeah, definitely I would like those on my clubs.